All right, and uh, we do have some uh, some closing remarks. We'd like to thank everybody for being here. Um, uh, go ahead and, and into the next slide. Um, thank you all again. Uh, my name is Brandon Haber. I'm the general chair. I'd love to just thank a few other people in, in the next slide as well. Um, just as a reminder, this is the 15th annual, uh, almost annual flight software workshop. Uh, none of us here are event planners. Uh, this is not a profit motivated event. We're all software engineers uh, here on the organizing committee. Uh, we build spacecraft for a living, but we're very happy to uh, have the honor and the privilege of putting this event on. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, in 2007, we had 80 attendees and over the years, the event has been hosted a lot of different places. Uh, we have had an apparently successful 15th flight software workshop on schedule and under budget. It was a COVID safe event. Uh, we had over 1400 registrations. Uh, I think our peak on Monday, we had over 400 simultaneous attendees and over 600 uh, unique uh, attendees uh, attending at some point during the day on Monday. Uh, so we've had quite an audience uh, this year and, and thank you all and for all of the presenters for coming. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, I definitely want to give a big thanks to the Flight Software Workshop Organizing Committee. We have David Adele as our virtual hosting chair. Uh, Luis Rodriguez is our event coordinator. Uh, Chris Monaco is our finance chair and, uh, and general chair emeritus. Uh, he ran the show last year. Uh, we have Amanda Voeklin, uh doing our sponsor relations. Uh, Chris Heestand uh, is our technical chair. Uh, Campbell Ong handled all of our communications as our communications chair. So all of the, the really great fancy emails everybody got uh, was all, all Campbell's work. Uh, Joseph Gruber is our website maintainer, and uh, for all of you that have worked uh, at least somewhat uh, remotely over the last two years, you've had at least one pet uh, show up in your in your Zoom, and, and our workshop committee was no, uh, no exception to that. So Rocket is a guide dog puppy in training with Guiding Eyes for the Blind and uh, joined us uh, being trained by Joseph uh, as our flight software workshop mascot. So next slide, please. Oh, uh, actually, previous slide. Uh, one, one more thing, of course. Uh, big thank you to Bill Rogers, uh, who is running the slides right now, and Matt Hegerly, who unfortunately had to drop off just about 10 minutes ago. Bill and Matt uh, are APL communications uh, and webinar operators running the whole show for us in the background over the last four days. So big thank you to Bill and Matt. Next slide, please. Uh, and of course, a special thanks to our sponsors. Again, this is a nonprofit event. Uh, so OAR, Case, Concurrent Real Time, AdaCore, MathWorks, Medics. Uh, thank you so much for allowing us to put this event on uh, and share the work of the flight software community and the work of your organizations uh, with this audience. Next slide, please. Uh, we had 43 talks in the schedule and 31 more that were pre-recorded. The links for all of the pre-recorded presentations have been up for about a week uh, on YouTube and linked through our website. Uh, we have all slides uh, up from all four days already. It'll take a little bit longer to get our recordings up and going. That that uh, uh, the text there for those uh, slides is actually last year's slides. But on the 2022 workshop page, we have all four days of slides for everybody to go back and reference. Uh, I'd encourage you all, uh, please connect with us, uh, spacefsw at gmail.com or info at flightsoftware.org. Uh, we have our Spacecraft Flight Software uh, Twitter account and LinkedIn. Uh, we're hoping to get recordings uh, of all of the workshop proceedings uh, uploaded by June 1st. Uh, so next slide, please. Uh, we're going to keep the Slack channels open, uh, so please continue the conversations, network, share ideas, uh, any other Q&A and communications. Uh, we did have several channels uh, created to, to help organize some of the discussions this year, and we're going to leave all of them open. So please be respectful and, uh, and abide by the code of conduct there. Next slide, please. Uh, we do have a Slack channel for constructive feedback, uh, hashtag workshop-feedback. Uh, you can also email us, feedback at flightsoftware.org. Uh, we're also going to send out a survey for presenters, attendees, and sponsors. Uh, we appreciate your responses uh, to make sure that we can include uh, any feedback uh, for any future events. Uh, you'll probably get that in the next week or two. Um, next slide, please. And uh, now we have Violet uh, Tarosian for introducing next year's workshop. Violet, unfortunately, we're not getting your audio. <laughs> okay, uh, can you guys hear me? Now we got you. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, I'm, I'm Violet Rosian. I'm technical supervisor for Instrument Flight Software. 
uh, here at Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, we are part of the Science Instruments uh, Division, uh, and I'm also currently the Instrument Flight Software Lead for Multi-Angle Imaging Spectrometer. Uh, I'm very excited to, to announce that we are hosting next year's Flight Software Workshop in, in our beautiful and sunny uh, Pasadena. Uh, that is planned for uh, the week of March uh, 20th uh, at uh, our Caltech uh, Beckman Auditorium. Um, we are expecting the weather to be nice in uh, low 70s. Uh, those who haven't been here, um, we are about 15 miles north of downtown Los Angeles. In addition to JPL and Caltech, we have the, the home of Tournament of Roses Parade and Rose Bowl, so plenty of excitement uh, locally here. The workshop is planned to be in person. We are optimistic based on the current uh, public health announcements that we can proceed with our current plan. We are planning to have some live webinar option as well. If there are unexpected turn of events um, as a result of the pandemic, we may be forced to, to hold the, the workshop virtually, but uh, we are optimistic uh, to have that in person as planned. Uh, the workshop will continue to, to focus on uh, sharing new ideas, networking, encouraging collaboration among software engineers. Um, we we're going to have a line of, uh, of key uh, presenters with technical uh, presentations, demo, hopefully, uh, to showcase some of the great work that you guys have been doing. Uh, I do want uh, to encourage everyone to um, uh, if they are planning to attend in person, to register early since the space will be limited. Um, so be on the lookout for announcements, uh, due date, registration. Uh, I am looking forward to see many of you uh, next year in person. Uh, I also want to take this time to, to really acknowledge and congratulate the, the current committee members being um, attending some of their meetings, seeing how uh, tirelessly they volunteer their time um, I cannot just uh, emphasize enough that this event would not have been successful without your dedication. So congratulations to the team um, and thank you. Back to thank you, you so much, Violet. <laughs> thank you. All right, next slide, please. And just one last thank you to all of our sponsors, keynotes, town hall panelists, live presenters, pre-recorded uh, presenters, Q&A participants and attendees for another great year. Uh, thank you very much for the privilege uh, of hosting this event, and we'll see you all in March 2023. Thank you and goodbye.